What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. In the last episode, we've captured Paris and our armies are storming up to the border near the enemies and we fought a massive battle against the Württemberg Empire. But we are continuing to advance and we're going to put some pressure on the French by attacking the city of Brussels. They have some pretty decent units here holding it. They have a couple of mortars so we are going to be quite aggressive in this battle. But I don't think they'll be able to withstand us. So let's destroy them. Yeah, so the main, my main overall focus is wanting to gobble up as much Western Europe as possible to expand my economy to make me better placed to withstand and beat the Prussian and Ottoman empires when they eventually declare war on me because we are currently peaceful and that will not last. It never does. Sooner or later you conquer enough territory that everyone in the world hate you regardless of who you are so this is actually quite a good looking map so I might deploy my guns to the rear deploy my fusiliers in the center because we know how they feel about melee combat they do not like it let's get three infantry and a royal grenadier guard unit on each flank Uh, good stuff. So we've also got heavy cavalry, turn off the cuirassier guards, pistols, we've got the lifeguards on the right flank, general in the centre, howitzers in place to drop quick climb. And let's open up begin proceedings so let's target their infantry first so let's try and advance my aggressive wing up one flank let's get my fusiliers up into the center these guys have got unit of chevaux leger on the way so let's push up my cavalry, are they charging? They aren't charging, but I want to drive my cavalry right towards them. Let's get my cavalry out on the flank. So they've come in. They're Lance cavalry, so I'm not bothered. Let's keep my cavalry, other cavalry pushing. Let's keep my other infantry advancing through the woods. You guys drop into square. Get my retargeting my howitzers to attack units behind the line. I mean, none of these are fusiliers, but in square they are just as competent as anyone in withstanding enemy fire. You guys form up right in the face of these Swiss Guard. You fusiliers, stay in square, you damn fool. Excellent quick climb shots coming in. Let's pivot my line. Let's keep my cavalry around the flank. My regiment of horse break out from this chaos here in the woods. Fusiliers, they are holding. They're wavering from some under point blank fire from the first foot guards, but we are re we are responding from the 81st. So get you guys out of square, then withdraw you. Our artillery is still firing. You attack the gendarmerie. Get my heavy cavalry in to hit the Chevaux Leger. That's one infantry infantry unit on the flank destroyed, so now we can pivot our formation in at the flanks. Quick climb's coming in. Oh, devastating quick climb. Got a heavy cavalry to keep attacking the Chevaux Leger. Drop the corner formation into, into uh, square. Just to fix them for our heavy cavalry. We've managed to repel their 
infantry attack in the centre. Let's reform our line. Let's some, some good shots here in the centre because it sounds gone a bit funny again. You're attacking the gendarmerie. Where's our Royal Curassier Guard? Let's get you around the flank. Very well. The lifeguards charge the 32nd Regiment of Foot. You guys get out of formation. Just keep attacking everybody with round shot. Let's get our reinforcing, well, get our big artillery to focus on the enemy in the rear. The gendarmerie. They've been broken, so let's pull my regiment of horse back here. These guys in the centre have held out quite admirably. If futilely. So let's drive our line forward. Same with these units. Come on, Fusiliers. These, I mean, my Fusiliers get hammered every battle I have. Mortars think they're having a grand old time. <laughs> Fired. Oh, yeah, my lifeguards are still doing a real number on that infantry over there. So our quick climbing howitzers we need to be really careful about how we interact. I don't want to charge my men forward and get hit by the quick climb like I ordinarily do. Like this, and I've let my cavalry get hit by the pikes again because that's what I do. Hey, they're routing. Come back. Take them out. Okay, so you've annihilated the 32nd. Yeah, it was a bit messy. A bit messy to start with. But the end result... Delicious. So let's take you guys... Up onto the flank there. You guys go after the Grenadiers, because these guys have got the... <clears throat> they're after the Pikes. Get my howitzers to drop fire round shot to engage the infantry there. So like I said, you focus on the Grenadiers. There we go, their infantry has been destroyed. Let's take all of our artillery off of... We'll stop firing. Do we want to continue? Damn right we want to continue. Let's get the General's bodyguard involved as well. Slaughter them! We've got a couple of units I would actually like to kill. So once they get past my lines, give them attack orders. I mean, if these grenadiers don't escape, I will be flabbergasted. You try to chase them down, or that's not going to work. Probably not going to work. You can help the general chase down the 6th. 
Come on. Take him out. Where's my, how did my cavalry get over there? I can't even make them do that. <laughs> well, decisive victory it was. Indeed. So that is Brussels secured and a big dent put in the, the French front line. So that's bought us the... That's bought us some protection of the, uh, the main city. Unfortunately, we're not going to get much replenishment on the go. But I can bring George Wade up for reinforcement. Pretty sure that is all of my armies actually done though. Barbary States, so they've, they've declared on us, so we're just going to push them. We need to knock out the Spanish. There's not a, lot, not a lot else we can do, so I am going to click end turn. Keep my troops building up on the border. Yeah, you, you might send some troops into raid France, but your uh, your, your days are numbered. Your days are really numbered, and we are we are opening up, opening up that uh, that uh, western flank, western front, and no Spain, you're done for, me old mucker. We're gonna land on on um. Uh, Sardinia and take you out I mean they are still blockading us and that's it's frustrating but it's not a it's not a worthwhile way to spend my money because I can instead spend it on um, capturing more cities on the European frontier which is a that's a better way to spend the money Especially when I don't need it to remain positive. I mean, yeah, the 13 colonies are well aware that we, we are probably going to come to blows at some point. The Württembergers are licking their wounds and they're coming in again. We thought they'd had enough. Apparently not. I might position George Wade strategically on that bridge to the north of Paris, hoping we can intercept them. Again, that would be lovely. Got a rake in Moscow. So let's get the rake down to Cherkask to get some visibility on what the Russians are doing. Port blockaded Parnu, it's fine. It's only the French. Sir William that faced him before. Let's get you guys up to here. Mark Cochrane's a bit at risk. Let's build fortifications just in case. So let's recruit another general in Paris, Jude Abbott. Hurrah, Jude. Let's get some troops. And damn right, we want some pikes. And Hessian Jaegers. Probably follow that up with a pair of 12 pounders and let's add a great arsenal. Start getting some uh, howitzers available to recruit. And we've got another agent here, so let's send you on to Stuttgart to find out what's going on over there. up here at Edinburgh. We want to keep recruiting at some point I want to recruit another Scottish army because we've got there. There we go. Our Royal Highland Grenadiers. I'm actually start the ball rolling there actually. But I want to see what I can get with an army board. I doubt I can get specific Highlander cavalry but I can get the Black Watch. The Coldstream Guards and Green Jackets and well, just, just good stuff. Really. Just good stuff. Let's upgrade build barrows. Fishing fleet is probably not the most efficient way to use efficient way to spend the uh, to use the zone, but I'm not really that bothered about the efficiency of it. Randall Axford, push on to Algiers. And we how much money have we got? Three thousand. Yeah, let's 
let's attack Algiers. So we do want to bring war to the um, to the Barbary states because they declared war on us for no reason. We had a happy relationship with the Barbary states. We things were things were good. Things were peaceful. We weren't we weren't trading or talking to each other. But you know, I thought we were good. Oh my god. Okay, artillery up front. Howitzers down here. We're going to want our heavier infantry on the right flank because they might have to push through the town. Our regular infantry on the left. Supported by all of our cavalry. Including our general. Very well. It oh, console commands. Go away. It appears they don't actually want to do much when it comes to defending the town. So let's run you guys up through the town. Run you guys. Up, run. And then you guys. Run up through the town. Folks, fire the camel nomads. Yeah, that got their attention. Start attacking the ground ahead of them with our quick line fire. So here comes our field artillery. Shots coming in. Beautiful. Actually, let's get one of you guys to hit the Camel Nomads. One of you can hit the Barbary Pirates. Our infantry line is well positioned to receive their charge. Particularly if you guys fire any time soon. Yeah, if you guys can get a volley in before they hit our line, that would be perfect. Drop you guys into square in case they want to continue driving on the driving up the right flank. Keep our delicious heavy cavalry force on the march. So this is the the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards are holding on. So you guys go there to form a front line to engage them. You guys get ready to fight the desert militia. You guys get involved. Ugh. Weird. Actually, you guys moved to intercept the Barbary pirates. Heavy cavalry commit. Whoa, okay, howitzers have been a bit too amorous with our front line. You guys cease fire. So you guys get involved. Got the line infantry guards to hold off here. My marines are going to hit the pirates. But I'm going to get flanked by the line infantry guards. You guys are going to run into position and mow down the Desert Warriors. Flank shots in the Desert Warriors understandably are... Ooh, General's Bodyguard be General's Bodyguard? No. 
me no likey that combat. I want my general's bodyguard to stay alive. Let's do the old switcheroo. All my field artillery, to be honest, start firing. My missiles have hit the warriors here. They've all been cleared out. Okay, my actual gunners can retarget the camel nomads. My regiment of horse can. Okay, now let's redo the, another switcheroo. Regiment of horse take out their general because the life guards are more useful elsewhere. You guys get over here to help defend them, get the lifeguards in against the camel nomads. I don't want them after my hussars. My lifeguards, heavy cavalry beat camels. Ooh, a lot of artillery coming in, stop, stop that firing. You guys have done some good work against the Camel Nomads. You guys are just mowing down their troops. My regiment of horse should knock out the General's bodyguard. I mean, you guys have taken the long way around, and make no mistake about that. Form line again. Get my lifeguards to charge the Amazons because they're hiding up here. There's probably a couple more where they came from. But in general, I think that's going to be it because. Well, yeah. Those Desert Warriors have routed. The Amazons aren't going to stand against lifeguards. The enemy general's been killed. And we're going to continue because we've got so many of them on the run. So let's use this as a bit of a experience harvesting event. Although it's likely we will. There'll be a couple of units running away in the hills that we've not been pursuing, like that guy. Causes the causes this to last a bit longer than we'd like. Well, they've escaped. Everyone against the firelock arm populace. 25 men, and there's about 180 odd cavalry coming their way. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> so we do have light cavalry, so they should be leading uh, leading the charge because even though they are very tired, all of them are pretty naked. Well, how they can't make up their mind which way they want to go. This is going to be sweet. See, they're going. Do we go this way? Do we go this way? Are you sure it's this way? Okay then, I guess it's this way. So yeah, my Hussars have got there first, because they are the lightest cavalry. Now well, they must have got someone up there. But still, I'll take that. That is Algiers secured. The first step on the road to the end of the Barbary States. Good stuff. So you're quite happy they're hunkering down. I want to see what the French do, but next turn we will push and attack and push them. We will attack them and drive them back through the north, and then this army can come in from the south. There's a chance we might get an interesting bridge battle. Again. We can't do anything about the construction. Obviously I've done, I've done used the rake already. 
Let's hit end turn. French are continuing their conflict with the uh, Ottoman Empire, although they don't—they don't quite appreciate the magnitude of the the effort that's going to be coming their way. Uh, do I, as my one sloop, want to attack the French here? No. So the army that I'm currently recruiting in Paris will likely drive south to go and clear out those raiders. Yeah, the Prussian Navy, they are a bit of a concern, I won't pretend. Sweden's burning, uh, Denmark's burning Sweden. Prussians have been repulsed from Württemberg. Good, because I want Württemberg lands. See, the Ottomans are just bringing up more troops to the front. They know something's coming, they just don't know when. The marker back. They can't make up their mind about where they want to send the troops. Oh, Wurttemberg uh, Okay, they're just regrouping. They march just within range. No, they... Oh, oh good. Yes. Yes, yeah. Ooh, actually. Yes, George Wade is this fella. Uh, yes, I want to intercept. Because it means I can kill them in a bridge battle. And they've got hardly any troops to begin with. <laughs> Absolutely do this. We're probably going to play a good chunk of it on um, at an increased speed because, you know, they've not got... They've not got a lot of troops to make it worth worrying about. I mean, well, I hope Matey Boy at Brussels doesn't cause it to be a regular battle. Yeah. Okay, good. This artillery can just stay here, fire at whoever you like. So let's put our grenadiers up front. Fusiliers can guard... Oh, actually, that's true. There's actually two of them. Okay, let's keep one set of guns firing canister shot. And let's actually split these up. Two fusiliers... Grenadiers and Swiss Grenadiers. Let's make a call that this is going to be the one that has the bulk of them, bulk of the troops go to. Let's just guess. Let's give these guys extra cavalry support and the pikes. Because you've got more infantry. And then we can deploy the howitzers to sort of keep give you to give you support. We've still got the two guns firing at the back. I mean, this isn't actually perfect, but if you want to push off to the right, we've got... If they want to push off to the right, we've got our... You guys need to run up. You guys need to start blasting that area. It looks like they might actually mix it up and go for both. Although this one is going to be the one that has... Obviously this one, this side, the side with the cavalry rush is the side that gets. Yeah, open the open fire. And they've got their... They got the, okay, they haven't charged properly. They've got the guns up. Yeah, they're done for. So it remains this flank. So you keep dropping quick climb on the breach. Well, on the crossing. Oh 
bib, what I mean play it fast forward, rather than just watch them run around like this, just keep going. <laughs> just let them... Let them do what they want to do. These guys are actually going to focus on their cavalry that's running around. So an interesting twist, they are largely pushing both flanks at once. Cast a shot coming in. The unit of the Gorky Hussars. So they've been pushed back. Then on this flank we've got another unit of Gorky Hussars. You guys drop into square. Keep one of our regiment of force actually over on the right, over on this flank. Two units of hussars routing. Oh, one hussar, one provincial cavalry. That's three units. That's, that's still two units. No gunners. Don't. Don't get involved. Start opening up on a note on a new infantry infantry unit. So here comes the eleventh regiment, attempting to cross the river. Let's see how well they do. As puffs of smoke appear in the distance. Oh, that was a devastating volley there. Yeah, no, they're gone. A unit of militia that can't make up its mind if it wants to come over here or not. So let's just attack them with quick climb. Speed up time. If they're not crossing, there's no point really watching because militia got hit by quick climb in the distance. So is this is the 13th regiment. They've got their charge order, but is it going to help them? No. Back they go. Here's the 33rd. Bayonets flying. Bayonets twirling. So they're going to position now here. Oh, okay. So they are going to try and. Ooh, canister shot coming in. Missed. Crossing in mass now, it's the 10th and the 33rd. Oh, when they cross this line, this is when these three units start to fire. Ah, oh, damn it, sound. But they've all been killed. Quick Lime came in and just killed a whole bunch of them. Let's speed up time, just because now they've got a line infantry unit and a garrison militia unit left. Yeah, this wasn't the same almighty... <laughs> oh god. This wasn't the same almighty crossing that happened last time, so let's just chew them up. For f relatively for free, we've got a... Well, I've had a handful of casualties, but not many. 90, that's pretty good. Barbary states are still flirting at the edges of our vision. Any raid in Dijon. So the garrison that's here. You guys can go clear out Charles de Grange, Lagrange, because before he causes any issues. Has depleted Flynn Gardner's force a tad. You men get back to Paris. Let's upgrade the chapter school to a college of divinity. Let's demolish one of these boarding houses. 
and upgrade the other. And let's do a bunch of economy upgrades because Paris is worth 5,000 a turn in tax revenue. Actually, that's quite a hefty upgrade to get, really. At the moment, it is, anyway. 10,000 for the top tier ports. I mean, it's nice to get because it means that they are. That port is now done and will forever be providing that maximum benefit. Where well, London's got some. Let's yeah. so agree this one at La Havre. The right side of the river. This sloop is going to flee back to Portsmouth. Württemberg army can carry on doing what it's doing. We're going to get... Probably... Let's get a regular unit of light infantry. So you're still holding a pretty critical bridge. So you're going to infiltrate Stuttgart or attempt to. Lots of good spying missions. You are going to attempt to infiltrate Berlin. So let's do some military upgrading on this front. Because when they come at us, it's going to be brutal. So much so, I'm probably going to get rid of you guys. These militia that were useful off the bat, but now they are no longer. Fleet arrives. Okay, good. Where to, Captain? Ships orders received. Oh, these are the trade ships. Right, 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 right. So, let's get you guys out of the way. Norbert and his heavies. Oh no, sorry, that's the Russians. The French have got... It's just a bunch of fours. Take them out. Let's... Don't claim the sloop. So let's secure that trade post. Let's make you guys all occupy that trade post. Norbert Vaughan, it's the, oh, the, uh, the Maratha Confederacy, you can also annihilate them, we're not interested in their fifth rate. Okay, so let's split the fleet up a little bit. So Norbert, so who's that? That's the Spanish. Okay, Norbert, you're going to gamble and attack on that Spanish fleet. You got Your fleet is now incredibly elite and is going to immediately move back to Europe for repairs. But that is a... almost an entire trade zone that's not producing anything because the, uh, <laughs> the Spanish are blockading us. But there's not a lot I can do about it. Let's take these two ships up to Cadiz. Actually, my home fleet's up here, isn't it? In Belfast. Not just any home fleet. The home fleet based around Victory. You've been up there for a long time. There we go. Knock out that Spanish stack. That's n we don't want the sloop. I mean, they're not going to stop us. Just sail into Portsmouth. Let's repair the ships. So it should give us a it should give us more income. I mean some of our ports are still blockaded because of the French there, but they're well. I don't want to move this guy off the off of his bridge, because if I move him forward to siege Turin, this army could run down south through here. Let's upgrade you to a craft workshop. Our ministers are all... Ooh, who are you? Barnabas Newcomen. Plus one treasury. Plus one happiness and ability. Plus one management. Sure is, if you're going for justice, we're actually... I mean, he might. I might get him in place of the army, because right now he's only four stars. Oh no, I can't. Oh, I'm so used to playing my absolute monarchies now. I could try and, try and punt out Godwin Shirley, but I don't want to risk it 
I like having... As long as they're positive and they're helping me out, I don't mind. You're great, but I'm not sure about the rest of your cabinet. Okay, let's hit end turn. So my spies are continuing their march. The French are probably going to go around and blockade Bristol. Oh no, they're not. Spain again wants peace and they're not going to get it. Prussia, Prussia, Prussia. I need to keep building up my home fleet. I, need to, I just need to keep building up fleets. Because right now my West West Africa trade zone is now unprotected. And so that's not really something I want to, to keep happening. Here comes the Marathas. Persia's up to no good. Deploy your army, do something. Maybe they did. Yeah, Württemberg. They now realise they're actually at being attacked from both on two flanks. On two fronts. So they're actually going, nah, you know what? Maybe we want to hold on to this stuff. Maybe we don't wanna just uh focus on the Britain. So you go the long way around. What do you require? Watching and listening. New town emerges, Medellin, Medellin, Medellin in New Granada. So let's upgrade some of Bogota's buildings. Let's upgrade as many as we can get. It's a lovely set of upgrades. Trade route raided and Nigdo Calabar. You swines. Pickled in rum, Edward Russell, minus one. <laughs> Oh, I remember you're up, you're up here blocking the Marathas from getting up to any mischief, weren't you? Okay, let's bring you down to yeah, St. John's will do. But now I've got steam engine. Um, I've got steam engine researched. That means that we've got an absolute crap load of industrial buildings that can be upgraded to the maximum level and then that will proceed to earn us absolutely buckets of cash within limits because we don't want to just focus on that we do want to keep up our naval recruitment so let's get these two guys out of the way so this is our home fleet oh, okay and our other fleet's back yep so you guys are going to sail into Ajadir, Ajadir, Agadir, one or the other. Any orders? Robert Vaughan, you men refit. But let's expand our HMS Royal George. Ooh, do I get Royal George? I think I probably no. I want to get HMS Elizabeth. I want to bulk out my navies a bit more. Actually, no, you don't need you don't need a church school. You can be a craft workshop. Your Majesty. You guys get back to Paris to fully replenish. Your humble, you guys aren't fully replenished, but you are ready yeah. to attack. So let's cross yeah. the border. Forward. You can march east. You can probably. Auto that fight. We are triumphant. Obviously, look at that. Oh my god. This is the problem with Empire. Like, why it made no sense for them to retreat that way. I mean, they couldn't really retreat anywhere else, but let's stop building that and let's get the galley out of here. Because that's going to get raided. A cool 10 grand. Let's upgrade. Build a sloop, but we do have a 
Barbary fleet there active. Let's recruit Desert Warrior unit to go occupy Iran and boot out that fleet. So you guys should be replenishing. Upgrade your roads, upgrade the farm, upgrade the port. Because I want this town to grow, to change into a church school so I can continue the advance. Okay, so the French are continuing, well, we're continuing recruitment in Paris. I mean, we're going to take some of your troops and get you over to Minsk. Don't think you're going to get shortchanged. Obviously, lots of our spies are in good position, but let's take Flynn Gardner. Actually, I might auto that. Obviously, obviously. So then you guys come that side of that fleet. Oh, you can't actually attack them this turn. But we've got we've got um the pincers are pushing on to Turin. Because I've kind of not given you guys a fight for a while, we're gonna take you guys and march you forward to Tobias Weishaupt. Weishaupt, Weishaupt. Let's push against Württemberg. Get them back to Strasbourg. This army I want to push on to Cologne while these guys push on to Amsterdam. But first, let's take out another Württemberg force. Let's keep the momentum going. We've got some good... We do have good momentum. I want to get that fleet... Uh, well, I need to get a fleet in to clear out the uh, Barbary States so I can ship my army from southern Spain over to Cagliari. So... There's not any brilliant position so they're going to trundle up to this hill and open fire our howitzers are going to be massed because we know their their force is qualitatively pretty poor storm up surrounding gulf put the bulk of our cavalry on the flank to help protect our artillery We've still got the fifth horse guards on the right flank clansmen can hunker down near the guns as well. Yeah, see? It's an incredibly tempting target for them. So, much so you guys hunker down. the 6th horse guards into the action the 11th light horse are getting gunned down by our infantry line shattered push our cavalry up get our field artillery up on top of the hill get my heavy cavalry around the rear ready to snipe out the general's bodyguard As more quick climb comes in yeah you can you can attack anyone you like as long as it's a square Go now, these units then. You men charge the Württemberg light horse. The 12th Marines are attacking this unit of West European mercenaries. Let's see if the square holds. They are shuffling back into position, which is good. Where's my clansman? I'm not going to worry about what they're going to do because I've got my. Clansman in position. Yeah, just gone straight into the back of the Highlanders, that's fine. Let's 
pivot this flank. Let's get a high how it's firing round shot and focus somewhere more more in the center. Because they're now starting to charge. The twentieth are broken, the fifth is still in play. Begin to wipe out some of these infantry units. Oh, obviously they came back. That's the most frustrating thing. Because you want to say no. If they route through our lines, why make it so they can... continue to do damage against me? That seems incredibly, incredibly penalising for something I have no control over. So let's get this cavalry unit out to attack the mercenaries. Actually, no, attack the general's bodyguard. Yeah, my general, because it's a field marshal, is actually pretty good. So let's get my field marshal involved. My regiment of horse has knocked out one infantry unit. These guys are about to knock out another. Hopefully we can knock out the general's bodyguard. Hopefully we can knock out the general. I never even unlimbered my my field artillery up on the hill. Go for an infantry unit. My field marshal charge the 20th. Let's hope. Oh! And then either side of him have been shot, have been cut down by musket fire. You go cease fire. I don't think I need to get my marines over here to help him out. I think my field marshal of Europe is good enough to knock out a mercenary unit. Get him over here just, just to... Get some marines over just to be sure. No! He died! God damn it. Very well, the field marshal of Europe has been cut down. They did manage to make the route. Oh, Should have known better. Should have known. Okay, let's stop firing there. Pretty sure that's everyone. We're going to continue. We're going to make them pay. Make them pay for me charging my infantry in like that. My general in like that. Diamond blast. Keep doing your good work. Let's keep on chipping away at the Württemberg forces to the point where they'll only have enough troops to actually to garrison a city. There we go. So these this heavy cavalry coming in should really help. There we go. Decisive victory. At but at what cost game? At what cost? We lost 379 men. One of them was my general. It was a field marshal, no less. So let's do a bit of a punishment. Sorry, Sir William Pepperell. We're gonna have to recruit a re a, 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 um, we're gonna have to recruit a replacement. So my spy shuffles over to Yankton to see what's going on.
Yeah, so the, that army could move n so close to mine because I have no... My army has no movement points. God, pressure's going to really suck. So they are pushing as well. Oh no, they're just pushing to raid. Okay, that's that's okay. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven stacks, plus whatever's nearer on the road to Moscow. It's really not good. Really not good. And there's not a lot we can do about it either. Hmm. Mm. I can reinforce, but I don't want to. You know, I want to focus my income on building up my economy in preparation for that world war. Go on, Denmark. Go on, knock out Sweden. Württemberg. Oh, get, yeah, Württemberg are losing ground to the Prussians. Okay, I might have to grab Cologne, because Cologne is now has no garrison. If I don't do it, the Prussians will do it, and that will really annoy me. <laughs> Whoop, sorry, my microphone. I hit my stand, and the whole thing tipped over. Yeah, Cologne has no garrison. So let's take Michael Cochran. Get him over here. Demand the surrender of the city. Yoink! <laughs> uh, okay, you guys can attack this annoying little raiding army. George Wade can get up to up to Brussels. Can we recruit a? I no, can't recruit a big. Big field marshal until we get the next building here. Okay, let's get a field marshal of the army. Three turns. That's going to take three yes, turns. Sir. Okay, so this army under Flingana is going to be the one to march to slightly to the west and then attack. Victory. Oh, for God's sake! Immediately. <laughs> That? Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, let's send my Dragoons and troops up. Exempt Spain from tax. So annoying. So annoying. Anything more? You men replenish. Let's repair the commercial basin. Let's upgrade the Weaver's Cottage. The Iron Masters works. To be honest, all the economic buildings in France. Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade the army board. I do like how I grabbed Cologne from Württemberg, and it's it's this Prussian army that fought off the um, Württembergs that allowed it to be possible. To be honest, George Wade might march up to the bridge okay. here, ready to put Amsterdam under siege. This army under Jude Abbott is, is still replenishing. Not replenishing, but it's under refit. One more turn till we get howitzers, so you guys want two units of heavy cavalry, so let's get Curassier because we're in Paris. Then we've also got this army under at full strength. Well, I actually probably want both of these guys if I'm going to push northern Italy. Don't want to get overwhelmed. So before I send this fleet back to the trade zone, let's send them over here. Let's send them over here to clear out that Barbary States fleet. I don't want any of their ships. Move back into this control zone to give them a choice to intercept me, and they haven't. So let's get back to this port down here Still ship shape. one more turn of replenishment then they'll go back out we we'll you to commercial basin so we've got this desert warrior go over to oran 
Tangier, you can get... You can start building up reinforcements the same way Gibraltar is. Because you've got... The Ottomans are going to land an army here when they finally declare on us. So you want to wait, wait your turn to get to let the uh, Barbary States move this fleet. So this army, do you have to stay in there? No, you don't. They're still fairly happy with you. Let's march you up to the border. Upgrade the Staff College in Morocco. Okay, you got one more turn to you got both your both your second rates. Let's get a couple of regular first rates. So we do have lots of variations. We have lots of things we can build. Let's demolish this dry dock at Antwerp. Let's get this one of these sloops back to Calais and repair. Let's get the other sloop. Back to La Havre. Good. Lots of top tier buildings. Andorra has been upgraded. Okay, 66,000. We've still got some trade being interdicted, but that's okay. This might be the end of Sweden. Denmark might knock them out. Carl Gustav Amfeld. Carl Gustav? The Carl Gustav? I've heard of you. You make a tank, anti tank rocket. Okay. So you're going to replenish and wait for your general to be rebuilt. If that means that Jude, Jude Abbott takes the lead and attacks Strasbourg, then so be it, but we are going to wait. Let's, yeah, let them do what they're going to do. Or I could just push them out with Edward Vernon. So Edward Vernon, go back to Cadiz. So you can't get any of the spicy units because they're all in Portsmouth. Well, not spicy unit, but you know, you can't get any of the unique units. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Marburg. Can't demolish it yet. Let's go back to the Americas and spend whatever, all of this extra cash we have, all very a tiny bit of extra cash. Let's build it. Let's build some extra infrastructure. Got a cool grand, but I don't think there's anything we can actually do with a cool grand in the Americas yet. I mean, Timothy Sutton, you guys need to replenish and replenish quick and get back to Savannah. Okay, let's hit enter. My spies are reaching their destination. Yeah, look, so they're just going to run around and raid and be annoying, all because they had to route west rather than east. Spain's after peace once more. Again, it won't matter in a few turns. Soon they won't have... Well, it's nice to knock nations out because it means that they, don't, they no longer take up an end turn phase, at least. That's right, Prussia. You helped me clear out the territory, but I'm not going to let you have it. Too bad. Stuttgart's there for the taking. Another army coming up out of Istanbul. Or was that two armies that have now come up? <sighs> I'll do it because they're probably going to be killed. So I'll take your 12 grand. <laughs> You can have steam pump land drainage, I'll take your grand, and then you can get knocked out by Denmark. I think I do need to keep recruiting armies in Eastern Europe as well, I can't just rely on having those garrisons um, in the towns do their job. 
Yes! S smart deal! Art of the deal! <laughs> there we go. Sweden's been knocked out. And I took them for a t empty their treasury by 12 grand before they got killed. Wurttemberg, yeah, okay, yeah, understandably, they've decided they're going to go on the offensive. Ooh! I mean, it's, they didn't bring in both their reinforcing armies, and we're actually we're a bit depleted, so I'm going to withdraw there. Yeah, it's the smart decision to withdraw there. Because we were depleted and we didn't really want... Oh, don't blockade Cartagena. Keep pirating. Ugh. Okay, so my spies snuck in. Edward Russell. He's, now he's sickly. Now he doesn't even move as fast. Take, it, take him out to lose. They've gone to a bawdy house to enjoy the last few last few days. Let's get you guys back to Madrid. So this big fleet that's just replenished, Edward Vernon. Get up there and clear out that Barbary fleet. Back you go. So you guys are going to put back in to here. We're going to take advantage of that gap. And we are going to get this guy up on over to um, over to um, Sardinia, but we do want to do a bit of building first. Chiefly because, like I said, when I end when I end the episode, when I load it up, I lose all of these. So that's why I like doing a bit of end turn admin because it means that when I've end of episode admin, because it means when I'm done, I can fight whatever battles I want to fight at the start of the next episode and not forget to do anything. Yeah, let's start let's start churning out some global trading companies. Replenishing. Looks like they're coming after us. They're more than welcome to. Destroy the university here. Keep on the upgrades. Especially if I'm going to start recruiting a bunch of troops in Eastern Europe, I really do need to uh, keep the yes. keep the economy rolling. And I'm going to want to do things like go here and build a fort. Workers are on strike in the Rhineland, not anymore. All of us spies are on the go. Let's build an artillery fort and let's build Army Staff College, General's Bodyguard, two lifeguards and a heavy cavalry and a regiment of horse. Just start churning up troops. If that's, if that's where we're at, that's what we're going to do. I better knock down that last upgrade because I want to get this army disembarked. Well, we might not necessarily tee up for a battle this turn because it depends on if I can get into their port or not. No, I can't. But I can. Dump my troops onto the beach. Get you guys back to Cartagena. Any orders? Oh, and then probably take. Your humble, sir. Well, you guys are a bit. You guys are replenished. Replenished. Uh, depleted. <laughs> they're, they're deplenished. Nice one, Robo. Okay, so. Okay, I think everyone pretty much done. But yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end the episode here because rather than hit end turn and 
you know, do a bunch of other extra admin stuff. I'm going the episode here so we can hit and turn and then kick off fresh next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.